So now let's see how we can install Python on our Mac machine. But you know, because this is a Mac machine, it already comes with Python. So what's the matter of installing it? So let me show you one thing. If I go to terminal, here's the terminal. And if I type here, let me just do this, Python. Hmm, you can see we have the Python 2.7.10 and that's absolutely working fine. And if I say hello and yeah, it's working, but it's 2.7. <laughs> this is older version. So let's go to browser and type Python and the first website python.org just go to this download section mac os and now you can see we have latest version which is 3.6.5 and whatever the version you will get that will be obviously greater than the version you have on your mac so let's just click here it will download that it will download here and you can see it's just going to complete so now you can see that is installed and I have opened that. So it's just a simple installation of any kind of software. You will already know that it's just continue process. So I agree and install it. I'm asking for the password, give the password. And now you can see Python is installed correctly. So it's just close it. Ah, yeah, move to trash. And now we have this thing. Okay, this folder is good, but again, let's go to terminal and let me just start fresh terminal here. One more type, Python, hit enter, but okay, it's still saying 2.7.10, but how we can ensure that Python 3 is installed? You know, to exit, let's just exit here and to exit, you need to type exit and parenthesis and then you need to say Python three and hit now hit enter you can see it says 3.6.5 is correctly installed so this is super easy that means you have that and on this python 3 you can uh, run that print command so print then inside double quotes we will say hello and hello is here even you can do like two plus five seven <laughs> that's easy and you know this is just a terminal but uh, Python comes with IDLE, a uh, simple IDE actually. So you can either click here or if you don't have opened this uh, folder or this directory, you can just go to spotlight and type IDLE, hit enter and yeah, ideally not optimized for Mac. This need to be updated by developer to, ah, uh, doesn't matter. So yeah, here we have and yeah, this means 3.6.5 is here and now we can say print inside this hello and boom everything is done and the super important thing about Python it doesn't need any semicolon it doesn't need anything else just go and write so 7 plus 3 and 10 is here but for bigger project or bigger programs we will create in the future we need an IDE or editor type things so the best IDE for Python is PyCharm by JetBeans so just type PyCharm and you will get this and here you just need to install it it's super easy to install just click on this download button and you will land on this page and we need free and open source version because we don't want a paid version so let's click on the community version to download it and it will start just downloading here so in just a moment you can see it's now downloading is started so click here so as soon as it, the download is completed it will open and now you can see it is completed and now ready to install which is just checking all these things and you just need to drag it to your application folder and it is super easy things just install it yeah so let's close it and open spotlight type by charm and now it's going to open so let's close this one minimize this and close this one also so if it is asking for this kind of things let's just go and click on this open and 
in no time it's now started so i don't want to import anything from here and it's now asking which key map scheme you want i have never used pycharm or i used pycharm before so i have never used pycharm so let's use this one so next we want to choose ui and remember this i want docular to be a good one because it will just not feel your eye warm so if you use this one this will be brightest and sometime it will irritate your eye so dracula is good next is create launcher scheme no i don't want anything then any kind of feature or plugin not yet so start using pycharm so it is super light things and let's click on the create new project and this time everything is good so i will say this one is first program so that's just first or nothing else so create and this will create that new project so it will take some time to start all of these things because it is the first time it's is starting but after that it will not do all these things so close this one and let's just do this like here and here also so the first one you can see it's empty so let's right click here and go to new python file and i will call it main it doesn't matter what you call it just just type main uh, not a fancy name but it's good and here let's type print and inside this hello and i need to run it so to run the program you can just do one thing you can right click here and click on this run main and you can see in the console we have this hello printed which is super cool thing even this you can simply use what we have done and the ideally of python 7 plus 3 and let's just right click run and better to use the shortcut so let's run it and 10 is here so in the future we will use this pycharm for our python projects and we will meet in the next episode so if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel because here python knowledge has started and share these videos with your friends don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram and linkedin also so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye